Are they here or not? Do you always like that in a big old hurry? My husband likes to get down to business. Mm. Hell of a lot of men are like that. Can't wait to get where they're going. Women, in my experience, would as soon take their time, enjoy the ride, so to speak. Let Him Go is the intense and dramatic thriller with Kevin Costner, Diane Lane, and my guest today, Jeffrey Donovan. Jeffrey, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hey, I called it intense. I feel like that is probably the understatement of the year. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad it had an impact on you. Um, yeah, it's, it's very intense, isn't it? It's, uh, it's about a very uh, dramatic time in all of these people's lives and they they come together in this crash and uh it's quite uh it's quite powerful and what amazing performances don't you think for especially diane and kevin and leslie i mean diane lane i mean is is this is without with all due respect to everyone else i was like this is her movie like she just of course it is. she yeah. just really ate it up 100 percent it was her and Tom Bazooka who came together and uh, Tom had adapted it and he always thought of Diane in the role and then they got together and you know it took a while to get it uh, going and then when Kevin came on board how great was that of a, of a catch and uh, and then the incredible Leslie Manville flew over the pond to come work with us. It was, it was what an amazing experience. Um, it's the story of basically grandparents who uh, want to reunite with their tiny little grandson and then they come into contact with the Wee Boy clan, which yeah. you are a part of. Uh, yeah. I have to tell you, the moment I heard the name Wee Boy, I was like, well, they sound like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Wee Boys. I know, isn't that funny? Um, yeah, what a great name. Yeah, you know, it's a very insulated world that the Wee Boy clan lives in, and they kind of run the town. And, you know, I don't think they take too kindly to the Black Ledgers coming into their territory. And they're very territorial uh, with, you know, Mama Wolf and in Blanche. Um, yeah, what a crazy world they, they find themselves in. And the two different perspectives of Kevin and Diane's characters. And Diane has nothing but optimism. And, and Kevin goes, no, I've seen these types of people before. You, you, we, don't, we don't want their help and they're not going to give it. So it was a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty interesting story to follow. Um, what, was there one particular aspect of this story that got your attention? You know, um, I, I think that it was really how well the story painted both families in a very fair way. You know, once you, you first introduce the Blackledges, you think, oh, well, they're the heroes. But they, they are making mistakes, not great mistakes, but they're making mistakes in following where this child has been taken. Um, and then you meet what supposedly are the bad people in the film, and they're saying, no, we're going to protect our bloodline, and we're going to be very possessive and controlling of that. And you think, well, they must be bad. But you realize they're doing the exact same thing. They're trying to control the fate of this one young child. Um, so I thought, wow, what an interesting dynamic to kind of play those two opposite each other. And I get to get physical with Kevin Costner. Yeah, with that uh, that motel scene. How uh, <laughs> talk about intense? Yeah, you know that hotel scene as intense it, as it was for you. It was similar for us as a cast. It was that small of a room, and we never got out of it. And we shot that for two days. That just one little scene. Um, it was it was brutal. Um. And this is now available on uh, all digital platforms, as well as DVD and Blu-ray, where we get to see the extras. Do you know what extras we get uh, as part of the Blu-ray DVD stuff? Yes, the making of. I mean, you'll see Tom Bazooka and the DP and, and uh, Kevin and Diane and I, and we all talk about kind of what the characters are like, what's behind the scenes. And you also see the set, how they were created and the home. The, the wee boy house, that incredible house that we burnt down. Um, we, we were able to kind of uh, recreate that time period of the early 60s. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fascinating kind of in-depth look of it. Now, speaking of uh, being available on all digital platforms, a lot of folks out there, myself included, uh, will remember you from 
Burn Notice, which uh, mm -hmm. is, uh, I found that it's streaming on a couple of different platforms, Hulu and Amazon Prime. What uh, can you tell me about your Burn Notice days? I mean, do you ever get tired of talking about it? No, no, I, I you know, it, it actually, I'm very separated from that world. That was Miami, you know, the beach and, and the palm trees and I'm up in the mountains. So it's, it's nice to be kind of remembered about, you know, a big chunk of my life. It was seven years of my life, uh, uh, seven seasons. Um, and, you know, burn notice, I look back so fondly, but at the time it was, you know, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh season, it was a grind. It was very hard to do kind of day in, day out, saving some client of the week, you know? Um, but the cast made it so much easier. Um, I became such good friends with, uh, especially Bruce and Sharon. Uh, I still stay in touch with them forever. You know, they're, they're kind of my, my uncle and surrogate mom uh, in my life. And yeah, I, I love it. I, I wouldn't even mind doing some sort of, um, you know, movie, you know, uh, and bring the cast back together. I don't know if, you know, the powers that be would, would ever want to, to write a check, but uh, I certainly would love to do it. As you look back on it, is there, do you, understand what made it so popular because we're talking about a, a TV show that lasted seven years, seven seasons, which is almost unheard of in today's time. Yeah. Yeah. Things are very disposable these days, aren't they? Yep. Um, I, I think, I think it just hit a certain niche uh, market of, uh, of part escapism part. Um, it was very pretty, you know, to look at blue skies and USA put a lot of, energy and money behind getting eyeballs on it. And it gave us a lot of confidence to keep, you know, raising the bar year after year. And, you know, I just, I think it just fell into um, whatever that mini zeitgeist feeling is of that, of, of that, of that time period. Of, um, I know what I'm going to get when I turn on burn notice, I'm going to get uh, a little escapism. It's going to be sexy, fun, comedic, and also action. And, um, I'm going to enjoy watching these characters go through hell. I think that's, you know, I think every series wants that. We just happened to nail it, the, you know, the first time. Well, Burn Notice is streaming on Hulu and Amazon Prime. And Let Him Go is now available on all digital platforms and DVD and Blu-ray. You can really get your fix of Jeffrey Donovan if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get overloaded. <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. Same here, Patrick. Thank you.